Who do you think got arrested right after that altercation at the University of Connecticut? Was it Catherine Gregory, the college employee who stole conservative journalist Lucian Wintrich's speech? Or was it the journalist who tried to stop her from stealing his notes? Let's find out. Well, what do you know? A miscarriage of justice at a conservative speaker's college event? Didn't see that coming. A total blindside. It took a couple of weeks, but University of Connecticut police finally dropped the breach of peace charge against Wintrich and charged Gregory with disorderly conduct and attempted six-degree larceny. Gregory's attorney said that Gregory, who is the Associate Director of Career Services and Advising at the nearby Quinnebog Valley Community College, had stolen the papers as a form of protest. Wintrich had something to say to me about that. Her attorney's statement was next level deranged. If we start claiming theft is just good-hearted protesting, then America is in big trouble. Fortunately, the system is self-correcting. With the thief facing jail time and the state dropping the breach of peace charge, today was a major win. It wasn't just for me, but for the future of free speech on college campuses. Now, what was the great threat that forced the well-mannered Gregory to steal Winters' notes? What kind of cruelty and callousness compelled the students to shout him down for a half hour? What was so unbearably offensive that it triggered cries of go home Nazis, Black Lives Matter, and F you? Don't tell me it was Wintrich's speech, it's okay to be white, the name of which the University of Massachusetts Boston even begged him to change before another event. <laughs> Honestly, it's so easy to rile up millennials these days. These campus cry bullies live in a constant state of pandemonium, bouncing along from one temper tantrum to the next in a never-ending cycle of outrage. Well, so long as daddy's paying the tuition, and sympathetic, appeasing administrators are keeping order on campus, that is. But when the ivy tower echo chamber paradise dissolves and real life sets in, some students will be in for a rather rude awakening. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock.